three years ago, we compared an outgoing rear-drive F10 Gen M5 with a competition package against the AWD Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG S. In explaining why the BMW lost, we established a wish list for the next-gen car. Senior Features Editor Johnny Lieberman said that although the M5 could do what the E63 could, it required more skill, confidence is a key factor. I was simply more confident behind the wheel of the Mercedes than I was when driving the BMW. He found the BMW driving experience too isolated, and he begged for a simply launch control and a less dizzying array of chassis and powertrain adjustments, none of which offered a just right feel, especially the rock hard steering assist settings. Now, as M Division is wrapping up development of its sixth generation, F90, M5, the team invited Motor Trend to BMW's Mrimas Test Center in southern France to sample the new car. Many key details, such as horsepower, torque, and turbo boost levels are being withheld until the car's official launch at the Frankfurt Show this fall, but here's what we know for sure, the bodywork will be better differentiated from lesser 5 Series and will include a carbon fiber roof panel. The engine is a further development of the S63 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8. The only transmission offering will be a ZF8 HP 75 8-speed automatic with a torque converter that locks for good after about 3 feet of travel. Power flows to all four wheels via an M-tuned all-wheel drive system. And despite the addition of those extra gears and shafts up front, the AWD car should weigh about 200 pounds less than its rear-drive predecessor.